And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kinku Elusives in Ranked. Uh, we're going to be playing this deck that's one of the most popular decks right now. So Elusives were, of course, uh, really good before uh, some of them kind of got nerfed a little bit. Um, but this version of Elusives has, has come back and started seeing a lot of play in the metagame. And I want to try it out myself. The reason why we're calling it Kinku Elusives is because we're... Um, you know, we not only have the Kinku Lifeblade, but a, now we have the Kinku Wayfinder. Um, this card has looked really strong every time my opponents have been playing against me. Four mana, two, three, and if you have, and if you get to trigger the Allegiance, which Allegiance means if your top card of your library is also from the same region, so from Ionia, then summon two random one cost allies from the deck. There's the six one drops, but of course the, the ones you want to hit are like the Omen Hawks, which I, or I guess late you can, you know, hit two Blade Scouts that are elusive and you can have a bunch of elusive power in the air also, but, you know, getting Omen Hawks is awesome. And yeah, that card's been really impressive. Also, Jewel Protector did get buffed and I really like Jewel Protector and being able to grant any of your elusive creatures plus three, plus three in your hand is big game. And then there's some Wind, Windfair Hatchlings at the top end. Four two elusives when you're summoned. Give all other allies plus two, plus two this round. So, you know, you get a bunch of flyers in the air and give them plus two, plus two. So, yeah, we're just like a, a tempo deck trying to win in the air. Uh, I guess we don't really have too much tempo stuff. We have like the we have the Will of Ionias to slow the opponent down. We have some Twin Disciples to keep our things alive and Elixir of Irons to keep our things alive. Like those are our tricks Mostly with one deny in here, um, so yeah. So I think I think this this deck is probably pretty good. I mean, it's seen a, a ton of play uh, in ranked these days. So let's let's give it a try ourselves and see how it goes. All right. So ranked, we are now just starting off in diamond. We'll see how much we can uh, rank up here. Yeah, this was this is just like the the list on the mobile attic site on the tier list there on the mobile attic site i mean this is a good good curve i guess um i'm gonna actually send back the life blade life blade's really good when you can pump it up and have stuff to pump it and everything we don't have things to pump it but i'm gonna keep this one two three And we're on the draw. We're not attacking, so we're not going to play the Blade Scout first. We'll play the Omen Hawk first since we're not attacking. If we were, like, attacking first, then maybe we want to lead with the Blade Scout. All right, so we're playing against a Heimerdinger deck. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Let's move. Nice pump up that Shadow Assassin, make it a 3-3. Three, three. We're going to play Shadow Assassin this turn, and then next turn we can drop Zed with the Elixir of Iron uh, back up. Or, of course, I guess I could just play Zed plus Blade Scout. I guess we'll, we'll see after I play Zed, we'll see what they do. So I'm trading here because I think those two are just going to be trading anyway. And this, I don't know, this lets me like kind of get in with the Omen Hawk. I, I think that they're probably just going to be trading with that anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably holding up Elixir of Iron. They could have another Thermogenic Blast. That would be able to kill the Zed. Nice. Now, if they don't, you know, so it looks like they don't have another removal spell. If they don't, now we get to hold up Twin Disciples. 
You know, or deny, I guess. So that was a great turn for us. Ooh. So this set was supposed to have plus one, plus one from an Omen Hawk, but turned into a, a Shadow Shift because I already have a Zed in play. So like if this Zed dies and then this one turns back into a Zed, will it then have the plus one, plus one still? I kind of feel like the answer is no, but I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know if anybody in chat knows the answer to that question. But I feel like the answer to that question is no. Oh, hey, we've had a lot of people just join in recently. Welcome, everybody. Um, let's see. Let's go Twin Disciples. Plus zero, plus three. Yeah, I know this one will be upgraded, but will it have the plus one, plus one from the Omen Hawk? Like, it was supposed to have a plus one, plus one from Omen Hawk being in, in the deck. Will it have that? <laughs> RV. I'm going to pass. I don't know. Playing this just kind of lets them do the, the four mana deal one damage to two different things very easily. All right, now we'll play it. Okay, we'll keep the buff. Okay, cool. And Blade gifted out sub. Thank you, Blade. Yeah, if you're newer to the channel here, this is what I do every day playing Legends of Runeterra. Starting at 3 o'clock Eastern, which is about an hour 45 minutes ago. Um, let's see. So if I play Zed, I still have the mana for Deny. And yep, y'all are right. It still has the buff. Cool. Alright, so now no, no buff. But still a 4-3, and there's not they're not really killing it with two mana at being a 4-3, so I can just replay it. And then hold the nine for later. Alright, wanna know. Mirror match. Did say this deck's pretty popular um, right now, so having a mirror is not surprising in the slightest. Elixir of Irons, probably pretty good. Fortunately, I'm not attacking turn three, even though turn three I'll be able to play Zed with Elixir of Irons backup, but we're not attacking turn three. Never I don't think there's a two drop that they're going to play that's. The yeah, it's really going to punish me for playing this. And they got a slow hand. Expedition did not go too well, unfortunately, today. We So, first Expedition, you can see our records up here. First expedition, uh, yes, we went 0-2 both times. We, uh, I just went, um, Night falls. It's too late for you. <clears throat> all right, what am I saying? Uh, the first expedition, we tried a Poro deck, <laughs> which, as you know, Poro's not so strong, not so strong. But we tried a Poro deck for the first one with some fun with that. Um, Came close to winning a game. Blade. Santa Blade gifting out some subs today. Thank you, Blade. And then, yeah, Buff Simba. Welcome to the channel. All right, so they're just bouncing. All right, get to bounce. It on the mark. Oh, we did hit the sub goal, which, so I'm going to have to count that towards our next 12 hour stream. I'm starting on the next one. Um, thanks, Blade. And, and yeah, so the Poros didn't go too well. And then the next one, we played and drafted an Ash deck. Like, we started with Ash, and so I thought it was going to be pretty good, but really did not go very well after that. I 
Let's play the Wayfinder. Okay, the mobile addicts thing is covering that. Maybe that helps it a little bit. Yeah, the Omen Hawks are awesome. So our next next two creatures are gonna have plus three plus three. That's a lot of pluses. Oh, I shouldn't attack with one of these one ones. Whoops. I should attack with one of the one ones. All right, that's kind of my B. They have to have elixir of iron, right? Why are they making that block? The four three in front of Zed. Well, I'll just pass. No, they just let that happen. Well. Yeah, that was a weird block. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. <clears throat> Alright, so if, if I just go straight to attacks... It's fine. Everyone here? Let's go! So yeah, I could have used the Twin Disciples and killed that thing, but I can also use the Twin Disciples to give plus three. So this is lethal right now. I don't need to play anything. All right. Hey, Soul Farmer. We won the mirror. Just went wide. Just got your last karma. Good job. Nice, Ribosome. Awesome. Santa Blade strikes again. Yo, let's get some hype in for Santa Blade. Thank you so much for gifting another sub. Um, Cragger, maybe? I'm not sure how, what, what vowel the 9 is supposed to be. But, welcome to the channel. Now you got your own emotes. You can use your own hype boats and everything now. So what we're playing against? Alright, we're playing against some burn. Gonna get rid of the Disciples. No, Protector just being a 4-4 is good, but it does cost 5 mana. I like the Elixir of Iron against Burn Spells. 
Joseph's pride. Omenhawk's perfect here. Perfect blocker. We'll take the trade. But we're down to 19. So it would, it would make sense to play the Green Glade duo. And you may be thinking that I should 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 have played the Green Glade duo. Wow. Like that trade too. But the reason why I didn't is because I want one mana left over. Because if I have one mana left over, we can play Zed and have Elixir of Iron back up. And then I can go like straight to attacks and not have to play Zed and then attack. Ouch. I only had five puff caps, I already got one. Soul Farmer! Getting the sub. Thank you so much there, Blade. Thanks, Blade. Chump Wumps. Everything's better with company. Says you. Um. Pass. That seven drop was not great. Yeah, no, thank you so much there, Blade. That, that was amazing. Thank you. I'll play the Blade Scout also. Don't kill my Zed. Teemo is going to be hitting me next turn, likely. Without a sound. All right, so we will have seven mana next turn, right? Yes, so I will be able to play these hatchlings, but they're likely going to just go to combat first. I only have three puff caps, you know, like this hits me, it just goes up to five. They they can play, you know, Mushroom Cloud, Mushroom Cloud, and maybe they have something else that gives me puff caps, and then they'll have enough to um, to double it up. But no. All right, I'll just take the five. It's not too bad.
No, don't deal four to me. No one's the wiser. Man, we've been not lucky with those. I guess I was supposed to do the small one first and then the big one to kind of to move these out a little bit. So when they block one, the other one would do a lot of damage. I'm not playing the Omen Hawk first because we're going to have six attackers whenever I attack with. First one's free. Was Zed. You break it, you buy it. Ready. Yeah, it's only doing four instead of six damage, but we are wiping their board, but we're going down to four, so if they have another decimate, I'm dead. Can't really do anything about that though. Yeah, looks like looks like they got one. So what happens when you hit you hit the puff caps? We did a really bad job. You know, we had three draws in a row that were a puff cap when we only had just a couple of puff caps. It was unfortunate. Oh well. Yep, GG's. So we picked up our first loss with Kinku Elusives. Yes, yeah, they didn't go for the level up on Teemo. Love that first combo. What are we playing against? Hecarim. <clears throat> Guess they didn't need. Yeah, you know, didn't need to because they were focused. They went for the decimate plan, and decimate plan got there. I don't know, seven mana is a whole lot. Psst, act natural. I got you. We can the bite. You call that sneaky. <laughs> All right, Zed attack or duo plus Omen Hawk. Attack for three in the air. The reason to go for duo plus Omen Hawk attack three in the air is that you do get the Omen Hawk in play right now. So our next creatures that we draw get that buff. I'm going to do that. If I go Z attack, they can block and then have Black Spear. I guess this route, they have Vile Feast, though. Well, that didn't work out. So they whiff, so they don't whiff very often. So that means we know that they have a Demacia card on top. So they have like a rally. They have either a rally or... They have like a rally or like the the five mana five five. Let's 
Give this life blade another plus three, plus three. The air could be a redeemer. <laughs> yeah, we did not do good in expedition today, unfortunately. The first one we tried, we tried memeing it up. We tried going poros with the first one and having some fun with that. These are dangerous land. Go ahead, attack with Hecarim. Go ahead. Nothing bad's gonna happen. It's not a dangerous land. Don't worry about it. Okay, they did. Eyes open. They could have black mark to finish off the life blade, but we do have the protection. Fight with the might of our people. So seven nine. Do I want to use disciples? Or elixir. Disciples goes to nine. I guess disciples. Disciples means it's not going to die to a vile feast. I can't save it from a black mark. Now, either way, but at least we save it from a vile feast. Let me change into something more comfortable. Um, I go unseen. So I think the hatchling is like my best play, but honestly, maybe not. Because if, if I do go hatchling, then they can, you know, use removal here, and I don't have any kind of protection. So actually, I'm just gonna go Zed. And, oh gosh, do I even play Zed? Is all this stuff? Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, they could have, yeah, they could have a heck, another Hecarim or a Rekindler, absolutely. Yep, absolutely could have that. Nope. Denied. Do not want to give them that attack step. So that was probably the Demacia card that, you know, we knew that they had one Demacia card in their hand earlier from that um, Allegiance missing. So that was probably the Demacia card. Yeah, they get all these things have challenger, I guess, besides the Mist Wraith. They, you know, have some choices of how they want to do all that. Right, I'm going to try to give this plus zero plus two. And I guess just that.
Well, we're looking like we have a better battlefield than they do. Again, I can't I can't play the seven drop because I need to keep this up in case they have a vile feast. Black spear. Well, I can't stop that one. That's three damage. We're still looking good. I haven't seen them playing too much Chronicler of Ruin. I do like that card though. They got me. <laughs> wow. Oh, I meant to do, let's see. See if that fits. Oh, I have to do command edit. Okay, do I want to play these things? Yeah, I guess we just play them on their turn also. That is true. I, I did turn on Radiant Guardian that way. That is true. It's a good call. I didn't really even think of that. But by blocking and eating that thing. I was thinking I was like getting a blocker out of there, but I did turn on Radiant Guardian. Alright, they don't have any cards in hand. We'll just kill them in the air. Three and one. Thank you, Yud. Yeah, sorry, Yud. We had those quick expeditions. All right, let's see. So I'm going to... Replace those. I'm gonna keep the Wayfinder though. So we're drawing the one drops. That means you know, we have less one drops for Wayfinder go get, but basically it means the Wayfinder is going to definitely be getting Omen Hawks. If it triggers. I guess that's the other option is it doesn't trigger. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Looking for this. The Blade Scouts have been pretty decent, though. I was wondering if this card was going to be better than uh, the Inspiring Mentor, and I think it has been. We're not trying to stop you. But this is what we call the perfect curve. You know, attacking turn one and turn three. 
This is the, the perfect curve, perfect turn for us. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Eyes open. Want to rant it. Cut him down. Watch and learn. Why would they not attack with the five four they can't block? You can't block. Surrendered. So I was gonna use like the the shadow shift, like you know they don't block one of those one ones. So I was gonna bounce the one one, put a, a, a the Z shadow shift thing into play, which I guess I could have attacked. So I could have ordered it so the one ones hit first before the Z. So then then I could have level. So then I could have flipped Z. All right, we got some rewards. We got an epic card. War Mother's Call. That's a good epic card. It's a pretty sweet one. We'll take it. Not bad. You're running that noxious six drop that kills everything less than four. So I'm not sure of that card. Yeah, I'm not, not sure what that card is. Shadow Isles. There's always Ionia. I know the way. This is a time where Inspiring Mentor being on being like where we're attacking turn two, turn four, Inspiring Mentor would have looked better. Just pass? with me we have vile feast reckoning cost six low if you have a five plus power ally kill all units with four or less power okay yeah that card yeah so yeah slow spell so we don't have to worry about that um, I think there's the Noxus one, right, that turns everything ephemeral. Is that Noxus? No, maybe that's Ionia. They picked the wrong row. Okay. So yeah, they're playing the spooky spooky karma. I could have denied that. But I'm going to save the deny. We just have the one deny and this deck's definitely playing Um, it's definitely going to be playing some, some, you know, real big spells. Like I'm sure they have ruination, harrowing, things like that. 
that would be wonderful to deny. Looking for and plus, now that we can make this a 6-5, maybe protecting this with a deny would be better. We ran into one player who had like seven curse keepers with Callista and a million sacrifice cards like Butchers and Crocs. That's one of my favorite decks to draft in the expedition. I had I had like one deck like that once and it was a lot of fun. Alright, I'll deny this one, I guess. With that being a 6-5. And I could play Zed, but Zed's just going to die to, to Thresh. So I don't have a, a whole lot of reason to play... Zed. So this isn't good. I'm sure they have Death Mark. The Death Mark Dark Water Scourge combo. But I just used my Deny. I wish I didn't use my Deny. Um two death marks. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Just got the four cards. I'll di diversify my threats a little bit. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Time for a leap of faith. I felt I still felt really good about this until this karma. Now I'm not feeling so great with this karma. They're only going to be able to get they get two free spells with karma. But still, two free spells. Well, I may be able to have lethal this next turn. Oh, don't have another death mark. Come on. Are 
they going to have another death mark? If they have another death mark, I want to play the Wayfinder. If they don't, I want to play a Life Blade. I'm going to say they don't have another one. Step lightly. I'm going to go with them not having another one. Yes, no death mark. All right, well, we can just win in the air. They have to draw removal, which is possible. But hopefully not. Not good. No, that's not good either. It's a double vile feast. Okay, so that drains one. So they're gonna gain two lives. So they go to twenty. That's fourteen, seventeen. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to. So I can't use this for a plus now and kill them. So I think I just save it and just let this happen. One candle for every sun. Five. Hmm. Thanks, Yud. Yeah, ex absolutely, Zach Zanolium. Absolutely. Options here are, are play the Conspirator, pick up the Protector, or just play Wayfinder, and then like pick up Wayfinder. Everyone here? Let's go. Ugh, I didn't hit. There's always a way out. I was hoping I had two more blockers. Without a sound. I am at I'm at twenty, so not that big deal. I guess maybe I should have picked up Wayfinder. So much power. Yeah, absolutely. There's chances of harrowing for sure. Chance of harrowing and chances of ruination. TBH. So I, I should have picked up Wayfinder, not Protector. Ritual of Renewal times two? Dang. Look within. I can still do twenty, but they get to they get to draw those two cards. Find a Noxus Demacia deck using Crimson Units and Dawn Speaker. Okay. I like that. It's a good idea. That works pretty well. I'm 
Blood for blood. Okay. If I play the the Twin Disciples, that's that's the card that I need to play to have lethal. How does that help them? They have a death mark. All right, so I should be able to. Okay, yeah, I can... So wait, drain... What are they... Are they targeting everything at this thing? No, wait, drain... No, they're draining this thing? For six? So, gotta give it five toughness. That's con you know confusing trying to figure that out. These are dangerous lands. That could be that's that's interesting. That could be good. They probably should not have attacked with all those spiders. Right? So you block there. And you block here. You block here. You block here. Disappoint me. I said here. Near. I am All right, so my... this is me taking nine damage. And then me gaining five, so down to four, so down to ten. So this will keep me alive. I don't know if they'll have ru ruination. Yeah. If I play this, then then Black Mark will kill it right now. But if I wait, then I give them like the the opportunity to like draw something. Mm. Maybe I'm supposed to wait. We probably don't have Black Mark, right? I guess I can play around Black Mark, though, by passing, but then... Yeah, because other instant speed spells would still... I'm playing into, like, Ruination. Another Ruination. Or a Harrowing. I think it's probably more likely to have another Ruination or Harrowing. Cool, not, not a Black Mark. No... So close. We burn. Then enter the new. Really? <laughs> Can I switch you two? Well, what what does it matter if I will it? I mean, if I will it, that they just replay it in attack. 
It doesn't matter. I mean, I guess I could have played it if I would have drawn another blocker, but it doesn't matter at that point. Like, we're, we're taking so much damage, it, do it really doesn't matter. Well, darn, I thought we were going to be winning that game. I thought we were going to be winning that one. But... Oh, well. All right, looks like we got another mirror match. I'm going to keep the elixir. <laughs> I just sent you away, Twin Disciples. Why are you coming back like that? Yeah, they had it all. There were so many times where I thought we were going to win, but they just had like the interaction all the time. I just kind of had it all. Need to draw some creatures. Creature. Cool, that's a good creature. I'll take it. Quietly. Dumping for the road. They're two good creatures. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Just too risky playing my own Zed and trying to Zed Elixir of, of Iron because if they have an Elixir of Iron, it's just too risky. Oh, wait, no, because if I, they have an Elixir of Iron, then no, it still would have worked. Right, no, so I should have played my Zed. Yeah, I should have played Zed. Because, <laughs> yeah, because I. Because now I have to play the Zed here pre combat, let them play something. Right, because their Elixir of Iron wouldn't have pumped up the power. Yeah, should have played. All right, well, less, lesson learned. Yep, should have played Zed. Yeah, now I. Now I don't have the mana to have twin disciples around, also. Boo. Alright, so yeah, I played this, played this quite wrong. So I don't want to Will of Ionia their 5-3 because then they can um, you know, they get to play it again, bounce these things again. I don't want them to bounce these things again. I almost wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind Will of Ionia on my own. On my own Shadow Assassin. Everything's better with company. Says you. Yeah. That's what she said. They'll never see me go. 
coming. Ugh. They picked the wrong row. I am the blade in the darkness. from the trees hmm do I want to bounce that Zed Good draw. I think it's probably better to save Will of Ionia for like whenever other tricks are happening more than just that. Disciplines, which I used to call twin disciples all the time. I was twin disciples, twin disciplines. That took me a week or two to figure out. And by took me to figure out, somebody pointed out in chat. <laughs> you know. Zed's shadow shift. Don't look away. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. I don't feel like that was better than simply. I don't feel like that line was better than just simply letting the Zed hit. Just, like, if they would have just let the Zed hit, and then, you know, would have dealt 4 damage and then played the new Zed. I feel like that may have been a better play. That is them playing with fire, taking 11 damage. Basically, I could save the Zed or save the Hatchling. Maybe that's the wrong choice. I don't have enough mana. Uh oh. I don't know why I thought I still had enough mana for that. But I definitely did. Um I am a true master. 
You cannot escape. Yeah, there's that is pretty beefy. I wanted to wish I could have bounced it last turn. Yeah, they would have their one of deny. Yep, would have been dead. What would punish me for playing from playing out multiple other elusives? I guess just if they have they like play a shadow assassin into a shadow assassin or something like that. Yone, yeah, I don't think they have a Yone. Get another Wayfinder. Let's move. Yeah, they could play another Wayfinder that would make multiple bodies. Because I was thinking, like, just Conspirator, bounce my Assassin, play Assassin, draw another card, play Blade Scout. It's probably just the move just to go to combat, though. Cool. So we want both the mirrors. All right, so there we go. So there's Kinku Elusives. So what I like to do is play the seven matches with the decks. Um, yeah, this deck felt really good. I have to say that um, I was impressed by the Blade Scout more. You know, like that's a card that I haven't really played too much before. I was definitely impressed by it. I think it, it was better than um, Inspiring Mentor. That's that's something for me to take in consideration with my other elus like other elusive decks that I played. So yeah, I liked the Blade Scout. Um, I thought that was an upgrade and I really like jeweled protector was awesome. It was great. And the hatchling was really good too. I was, I was definitely impressed by the hatchling as far as a seven man card goes. Do I need three hatchlings? Maybe not. Like maybe the third ha hatchling is a little too much. I know it is an Epic. If you're playing this deck and you're kind of, you know, don't want to use like an Epic wild card. Uh, I guess Imperion's also an epic, but I think you get Imperion's for free. I wouldn't mind maybe playing like one Imperion over one of the hatchlings because it's just so big. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't mind that. And, you know, like Imperion, like if you pump it up with Protector, you can basically, you know, deal half of the life total. So, like that's, so that's another card too. Um, yeah, the thing is Ionia. So that's another card that could, could be, uh, especially if you don't have all of these and you don't want to use the wild cards kind of thing. Um... That's another option. But yeah. Um, I yeah, liked liked this deck. I think it definitely was felt really good. And the Wayfinder was awesome. Uh, it's sad that we don't don't have Hearthguard in here because I just like Hearthguard so much. This Averose in Hearthguard, but it's not, you know, the deck's just kind of a little bit too aggressive and too elusive for Hearthguard, but it makes me sad. Um, but I think the Jewel, the Jewel Protector kind of felt felt maybe a little better than Hearthguard would. And, and you need to just have it, it's a, as many um, Ionia cards as you can because you want your Wayfinder to hit, of course. Um, uh, I have not looked at any package with... So the two mana, two one... So this green... This lookout to reduce the cost of your most expensive card by one. So you're playing that two drop. Every time you strike, it does. And then you play Yone. Oh, no. And Mina. So you play that with Mina. That could be interesting. I haven't... Like, that That sounds like a, a good thing to do in a Yasuo deck. I haven't, I haven't built a Yasuo deck yet. I've, I only have just one Yasuo. 
So I haven't built one of those, but I could see that. Um, yeah, playing Mina Swift on like turn seven. Yeah, I could see that being a total grave changer or game changer. Their grave. That does sound pretty sweet. All right, but there we go. There's Kinku Elusives. Definitely a really good deck if you want a a really good metagame deck. Um, yeah, this this felt felt like it. All right, we're gonna try one other um, metagame deck that a lot of people play. Ezreal Eldnux up next. But uh, those y'all watch on YouTube, hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. For those y'all here in chat, I'll link the the YouTube channel that has all of my replays. Um, uh, just just youtube.com slash Hawkeye. Hawktie, sorry. <laughs> Hawktie. Uh, yeah, and so we'll get some Ezreal Elnux. Yeah, so hit that like button on the videos. Um, the more likes, then the, the more that Twitch's algorithm shares the videos with other people. And uh, comments also. They always like comments, so feel free to leave comments, you know, um, you know, if you have questions about, you know, any of the gameplay or the deck, anything like that, or, you know, whatever else you want to comment on. All right, but thank you so much for, for watching the video, and I'll see you for the next video.